Ooh, manly, rugged, striking features. So why bright? And I'm talking about the new Mahindra Scorpio N. Now it's rugged enough to keep the Bundu bashes happy and I'm gonna just spit a few of the performance specs out there which are all Greek to me anyway but it's a 2.2 litre Mhawk diesel engine it is 128.6 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque which means it's got a lot of power apparently and it's a six-speed automatic transmission what a bulldog looks it's got that stance right but because it's a little bit more rounded it has got a bit more like finesse to it what i'm a little bit more interested in is how it looks and how it feels and how it drives our scorpio n comes in a bunch of colors that all have names that are sounding very adventurous like this is the grand canyon and it's actually my favorite it looks great when the light comes on wait for it all the lights are led which sparkle and these are double barreled like as if they've married but they want to keep their own surname double barrel headlights which are also automatic so when you're driving and suddenly it gets a bit darker there's this beautiful little bing that happens and over here we've got your 18 inch alloy wheels it's pretty much all i have to say about them wheels you've also got led turn indicators on the orvms but in Mahindra language, we call these outside rear view mirrors, which does make sense, but who calls them ORs? But that's where your indicator light is. And here, you don't have something just for good looks. This is an actual functional roof rail. Your door handles have got this beautiful little chrome touch to it. Then, oh, I love the details. So this silver trim goes all the way along the windows to the back window, and then makes a little thing like a scorpion. And at the back, you've got tall stacked LED taillights, but these are kind of more funky version, but there they are. As you can see, there's a selfie camera or reverse camera. Now I love a booty, so let's check this one out. Where's this button? Nope, that's the review camera. So how do you open the boot? Oh, handle. Like a normal door, Michelle. <laughs> like a normal human, we use the door handle. So the Mahindra Scorpio N has a ton of safety features. You've got ABS, EBD, ESP, ABC, it's the easiest, one, two, three. Honestly, there are just so many, I can't even remember them all in one sentence. Personally, one thing I love is having loads of cup holder spaces. There's only one space between the seats, but there are cup holders on the sides, and in the back there's also in the doors, as well as two in the arm resty thingy. You've got an electronic stability program, electronic brake force distribution, squirrel and ABS brakes. Save the squirrels. The Scorpio N has tons of airbags and seatbelt reminders on the front here. I'm not sure about the back. I haven't sat in the back and tried to drive at the same time because that would be dangerous. The Scorpio N has this triple D thing, which is driver drowsiness detection. So if you start tuning styles, it's like, hey, wake up, wake up. Also a really great safety feature is it got hill descent control as well as hill hold control. No more rolling back. Side. It's like the Scorpio N is singing, honey, let me upgrade you. Super bougie. So firstly, a visual experience because they have got these two-tone leatherette seats with black and rich coffee. Not just coffee, rich coffee.
awkwardly caress a steering wheel, but it feels so good. So this is a multi-function steering wheel, which I love. I struggled now with cars that don't have all these functions on the steering wheel. So much safer and so much quicker. So you've got an eight inch infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which you do need to use your USB for, but there is wireless phone charging. <laughs> angel singing so this is your dual zone fully automatic temperature controller which is really great because i like to freeze when i'm driving and apparently my passengers do not so here they can control what they feel and what i feel boundaries so it has got usb points in the front here there's two one for charging and one for media and there's one in the back because you know the kids are always playing with all their gadgets so now they can charge it in the back i think Yes, 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 they can. It's there. <laughs> and Q's epic hair flip. Because this has got 12 Sony speakers. So there's this crazy 3D sound that you're having. And the quality is quite impeccable. seven seater but when there's seven seats up you kind of don't have boot space and i don't understand why you would need seven people but no boots and ah. but what is really rad is the back seat so the third row can fall down the second row has one touch tumble no let me show you and this is the one touch tumble what's up magic do you feel like i'm in a jurassic park car though especially with the sunroof I'm so high and it feels very much like I'm going to attack and eat anything in front of me. I do feel like I'm driving a monster car, but like a very comfortable one. These seats are very soft and they're very like fancy. The Scorpio N has Isofix standard, which is for your mounted child seats. And it's also got top tethering as well, which apparently, I mean, I wouldn't know, but people with children are like, we need Isofix. Mahindra delivers. On the spec sheet it says TPMS, which sounds like totally PMSing, but it's tire pressure monitoring system. Because like when I stop at the petrol station and they ask me like, do you need to check your tires? I normally just be like, yes, and then they ask me how much and I don't, know, I don't know. It actually tells you. How great is that? The 4x2 has got this very, very cool feature. So I'm an entertainer, so I love the name of this. It's called Zip Zap Zoom, and I think the choreography comes included. So Zip is for like suburban driving city life. Zap is for like, which sounds very inappropriate actually now that I think of it, but it's for your SUV performance quality stuff. And then the zoom is the zooming around, right? While I'm speaking about that, we might as well take the Scorpio in on a second date to the dunes. The Scorpio N has 4Xplore, which is a terrain mode technology, which basically is technology that has different modes for different terrains and for the car muggles out there, it grips onto any surface. If you've got it in low range, immediately the engine brakes for you. It feels its way down for you. It's like magic. So we just have to deflate the tires just a little bit. This is the best part about driving 4x4 as a female is because there's so many men to do the stuff that I don't want to do. But it is easy. I just don't want to get my nails messed up. Yeah, you have to face it. Let's get back to basics. I'm gonna take the shot like it's a vaccination. I don't have the patience. I'm gonna shoot right now. Yeah, we undefeated. You're gonna lose right now. Like click, 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 swish. I can switch it up anytime like this. I'm a videographer and I'm on the verse. So when I shoot my shot, I don't miss. Let's go. Oh, that was a what you don't know is that we're busy filming this at the same time as a whole bunch of other cars and 4x4s are being filmed. And this one is completely out doing all of them. I just did a whole heel by myself. That's very exciting. Well, we are on thick, soft sand and it's easy. It's effortless. It's fun even. It's so light. Look at the steering. It's so easy. I'm with my fingertips. Look, look, driving with my fingertips. So much fun. Woo! I'm mildly addicted to pull my boing. Bashes, this car performs to outperform. Not only is it rugged and sexy and manly on the outside, on the inside it's like five star, take you on a hot day ride over the Pinonsburg, that type of feeling. Plus there's space in the back for my kids, your kids, the future kids, fur kids, quite right. <laughs> 